It's a Fox 4 follow up. A Shawnee mom sentenced today for the role she played in the death of her son back in February. Carly Phelps pleading guilty to involuntary manslaughter and child endangerment charges stemming from the fire that killed her one and a half year old son in Shawnee. Despite that, she may avoid prison time. Fox 4's Tia Johnson live from the Johnson County Courthouse in Olathe with why. Tia? Well, John Phelps was sentenced to 18 years in prison, but a Johnson County judge is allowing her to serve three years of probation instead. There will be terms and conditions that she'll have to agree with, and if she doesn't comply with that, the, the probation officer can either issue internal sanctions, or if they feel they're serious enough, they can uh, file a motion with the court and ask to have a hearing to determine whether or not to revoke her probation. 28 year old Carly Phelps is headed to a residential home after a judge granted Phelps's request for a dispositional departure. Johnson County District Attorney Steve Howe says she will remain in the residential home for the tenure of her program, then can go home for the remaining of her probation. We have a sentencing grid in, in Kansas, and this was a presumptive prison case, so there had to be what's called a dispositional departure to not send her to prison. So there had to be special findings made by the judge to do that. Phelps was charged in connection to her son's murder, a house fire in Shawnee back in February near 69th Terrace in Larson Lane killed the 17 month old boy. Court records say Phelps admitted she was not at home at the time, meaning the boy was there by himself. The documents go on to say Phelps told investigators she was at someone else's house in Wyandotte County. That's why she was charged with involuntary manslaughter and child endangerment, which she pled guilty to. I think it's just her criminal history and her behavior uh, after she was investigated for this and, uh, and after she was charged. Uh, she tried to convince a witness to change their story. And to us, that was a pretty egregious act on her part, and she was caught and actually charged with that. Nicholas Ecker, the baby's father, is accused of starting the deadly fire. He's charged with first-degree murder and arson in the crime. Ecker pleaded not guilty to the charges in August and is scheduled to be back in court in December. And I called Phelps' attorney to talk to him about the outcome of this case, but I haven't heard back from him yet. Christelle.